Okay, next case, um, a symptomatic Chiari with a syrinx this time, an eight-year-old female, some mild developmental delay, ataxia, delayed language, mild uh, scoliosis happening. And here's the MRI scan. There's something a little bit funny about this MRI. I'm going to leave it here for a second so you can all look at it. And um, yeah, you'll you'll sort of wonder what's missing here, and I'll tell you in a moment. Uh, but here's the uh, MR of the spine. So you can see the quite distinct Chiari malformation, which you can catch here. You start to see the top of the syrinx here, but on this T2-weighted image, you actually see the, the syrinx much better. You can see the compression here. But what are we missing here? I'm going to show you in a second with an arrow. Arrow is pointing at absence of the uh, corpus callosum. So this uh, patient also has some underlying genetic disturbance that led to absence of the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is the major association fiber bundle that takes information from one hemisphere and transfers it to the other. Here's the video in this case. So hopefully these videos are showing up for you. So we're doing some dissection of the arachnoid. We've already opened up the, the dura. We've taken off, obviously the bone off. And now we're preparing the cerebellar tonsils for the tonsillopexy. And we would do coagulation just like that, rounding up the tonsils. Um, and uh, this is very well tolerated. It does not seem to cause any underlying uh, significant uh, disturbance when you do that. And you can see the dissection that's required. All of that's done under the microscope, at least uh, in my uh, institution. We do carry malformations at that stage under the microscope. And here's the before. Once again, large syrinx, multi-septated uh, syrinx. And here's the after. So I think you would all agree that's much better in terms of the resolution of the syrinx. There's still a, a tiny syrinx here, but you can see the nice rounding of the tonsils, which are quite pointed here. And that's uh, the kind of result I like to see after this case. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.